Father, why do you wear different style of vestments than Father Christian? As I alluded to in the last video today, we're going to look at the different vestments the priest wears at Mass. I was going to talk about all the vestments, but I got too excited and we only have time to cover one. Last time I mentioned that every part of the Catholic liturgy is there to help us understand the faith. So the first thing is, why do priests wear vestments anyway? They're hot, expensive and unlike anything we see on the streets today. That's kind of the point. What the priest wears at Mass actually harkens back to the everyday dress in ancient Greek and Rome. Back then, if someone was to be set apart from everyone else, they would wear a higher quality of material. As times and cultures change, modern dress has also changed drastically. But the church has kept the same general style of vestments this whole time. The main thing is, priest vestments are not like normal clothes, so they set the priest apart from his daily duties. It's the same with the Mass. When we go to Mass, something amazing is taking place. It's unlike anything else we do in life, so the priest dresses differently to help understand this point. Now, by extension, the people should also dress up for Mass, hence the term Sunday best, but that's for another video. The other thing about vestments is they take the focus off the man himself, the priest, and instead emphasize his role. When the priest is at the altar, he stands in persona Christe, in the person of Christ. Think of it. The priest says, this is my body. It's not Father Barlett's body. It's not Father Christian's body. It's the body of Christ. So it's the priest standing in the place of Christ. As such, he should be set apart. This not only helps the faithful to understand this particular reality of the Mass, but it also aids the priest in remembering who he is and what he's doing at that time. Expounding upon the Second Vatican Council, the U.S. bishops remind us that the priests are the servants of the liturgy, and as such, they must follow the directions of how liturgy is to be celebrated. This brings us back to episode 4, where we talked about the unity and universality of the Church. These same ideas are expressed in how we have a unified celebration of the liturgy. Now with the chasuble, it symbolizes the charity the priest is called to have. Notice it goes on top and covers everything else the priest wears. This symbolizes that above every aspect of the priest's life, his charity should be first and foremost seen. If he truly stands in the place of Christ, who is God, and God is love, then the priest's love, his charity, should be the first thing that people see. As he dons the chasuble, the priest prays, O Lord who said, My yoke is sweet and my burden light, grant that I may so carry it as to merit thy grace. This comes from the letter to the Colossians, Above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfection. Now to finally get to the question, why are my vestments different from Father Christian's? Well, mine are designed to be much smaller. In a sense, they're sleeveless. And I'm always hot. Just ask the staff. So I opt to use the one with less fabric. The main thing to remember though, is they're both chasubles, and in essence, they're both the exact same thing. The fiddleback, or Roman style, which I wear, developed because as they were adding more and more design, the vestments became too heavy to wear, and so they cut them down in size so as to be able to make these beautiful works of art. The vestment, in a way, becomes just like a canvas. This is just one more way of adding beauty to the liturgy. Thank you for watching. As always, please like and share, and never hold back from asking the associates. God bless.